Hey guys, welcome back to Adobe's Learn From The Pro series. My name is Kevin Delacerna and I'm a video creator based in Cebu, Philippines. So for our third video, I'll be teaching you how to make your videos look and feel high quality so your audience stays engaged. And without wasting any more time, let's go to Premiere Pro and let's start editing. Say you have a fully rendered clip but you want to cut out the individual scenes of your clip. Instead of manually cutting out the individual scenes of your clip, all you have to do is right click on your clip then select Scene Edit Detection. Make sure to enable this output setting and just click Analyze. Now Premiere Pro is just analyzing your clip and automatically detecting each cut point. Just wait for it to load and you're done. As you guys can see, Premiere Pro did a great job in detecting each cut point and now you just save a lot of time in your editing workflow. Now that we know how to automatically cut out scenes in Premiere Pro, let's now proceed to our next clip, auto framing. Say you have a landscape sequence but you want to quickly change it into a vertical orientation. Now instead of manually creating a new sequence and reframing each clip one by one, all you have to do is to go to your project panel, right click on your sequence, then select auto reframe sequence. Once you're done, all we have to do is to set our target aspect ratio, which in our case is 9 by 16, then enable don't nest clips, and once you're done, just click create and you're done. As you guys can see, Premiere Pro did a great job in auto reframing the sequence. And what's great about this is I can easily auto reframe another sequence in a different aspect ratio and it just saves me a lot of time in my editing workflow. In the past, I used to manually create a new sequence and having to adjust each clip manually, but now having the auto reframe feature just made my life easier as an editor. Now let's move on to the remix tool. Say you have a background music that you like, instead of having to manually cut and shorten the music and make sure that the audio transition is seamless, which is a hard thing to do by the way, all you have to do is to click and hold this tool, then select the remix tool. Now all you have to do is to click and hold the ending point of your clip, then drag it to your preferred length. Now what the remix tool does is it can automatically shorten or extend your music using the power of AI. What's great about this tool is it can also synchronize the music so well that you wouldn't notice the exact transitions of the music. If you guys can see these zigzag lines, this is basically where the music is being cut and synchronized. So now let me play the whole clip and I'll let you guys be the judge if Premiere Pro did a great job in remixing the music. <laughs> And that's it. Now for the last tip, let's talk about auto color. As a beginner, there's no doubt that color grading can be quite a complex skill to learn in Premiere Pro. However, we now have a new tool called Auto Color where Premiere Pro can do the upfront job for you. All we have to do is to go to the Lumetri Color panel, make sure you're on the Basic Correction tab, then just press the new Auto Color button. Now that Premiere Pro has auto colored your clip, What's great about this is we still have the ability to control the various settings and adjust it to your liking. The auto color feature is a great help for us to have a starting point for color grading and now all we have to do is to adjust the colors to match our liking. And that wraps up our third video in this series. If you made it till the end of this video, comment down below your favorite tip and make sure to drop a like in this video if you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for my next episode as I'll be teaching you how to deliver high quality content with professional polish using motion graphics templates in Premiere Pro. Don't forget to create more and I'll see you in the next one. Paalam!